Hi, welcome to 4 Minutes of Film with me, Rihanna. Three films to review this week, The Theory of Everything with an interview from Eddie Redmayne, Birdman and Woman in Black 2, Angel of Death with interviews from Phoebe Fox and Jeremy Irvine. So let's start with that one. It's a return to the old creepy house from the first Woman in Black, except this time it's the 1940s and a group of school children will be taken there to safety by their teachers and this seems to reawaken the Woman in Black whose own son was killed. They were coming home across the causeway. The horse somehow lost its footing. The carriage was thrown into the marsh. I loved newcomer Phoebe Fox's performance as one of the teachers desperately trying to protect these children and also having to fend off her own demons. And when Phoebe Fox and Jeremy Irvine came in, I asked them what was the scariest moment during filming. We were doing a scene in a cellar and uh, we were doing the scene where the candles go out and it's meant to be pitch black. It freaked me. Freaked me out. Yeah, but then again, out. you know, me and Tom Harper, the director's favourite game was scare the living bejesus out of Phoebe. <laughs> that's true. That's true. <laughs> so, no, you know, it was cool. Hiding, I had to hiding put up in cupboards and yeah. No, you didn't. <laughs> the director jumped out at me in the middle of a take from behind the door. There's a very, very sweary outtake around there somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. It gets really dark when grisly things start happening to the children because they're normally the innocent ones. But there are a lot of box ticking scare tactics going on, which just renders everything not scary at all because you know exactly when the frights are coming. So three stars for Woman in Black 2, Angel of Death. And next up is The Theory of Everything. This is the biopic of physicist Stephen Hawking, played by Eddie Redmayne, and it focuses on his student days and him discovering his illness and also him meeting a girl at uni who later became his wife. Are you going to talk about this or not? Please, just go. Is that what you want? Yes, it is what I want, so please, if, if you care about me at all, then please just go. I can't. I have two years to live. I need to work. I love you. Everyone has been talking about the possibility of Eddie Redmayne getting an Oscar for this, and it would be well-deserved, because the amount and the way that he contorts his body and changes his facial expression is so impressive. This film would not be as riveting without him in it, I don't think. And this is what happened when Eddie Redmayne came into the studio. You've, uh, you've left a, that's a false conclusion. Did you know that Stephen Hawking was going to watch it on, like, the time that he watched it? So were you kind of pacing the floor that night? I was. Do you know what? I went down to see him and I said to him, look, you know, Stephen, I'm really nervous, but, but let, let me know what you think. And he looked at me and then he spent about six minutes sort of typing something out. And then in his iconic voice, he said, um, I will let you know what I think, good or otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, ah, please do. And I said, literally, if it's otherwise, maybe, maybe just say otherwise. I don't, I don't need to know all of the minutiae of the details, but. It might sound like a depressing watch, but it's actually very uplifting. A story about fighting against the odds. And I loved the way that Felicity Jones played Jane Hawking, Stephen's wife. And they both came across as very human, which is important. I think iconic characters can be made to look like saints or villains. And I love the way they took a very atypical situation and made it seem quite normal. So four stars for the theory of everything. And finally, it's Birdman. It's about a washed up actor who's trying to relaunch his career by adapting, directing and starring in a play on Broadway. But the main voice he hears in his head is that of his most famous character, Birdman. This is my chance to finally do some work that actually means something. That means something to who? You had a career, Dad, before the third comic book movie. Before people started to forget who was inside that bird costume. There was nothing about this film I disliked. Let's start with the acting. Michael Keaton goes deep to show us this egotistical, volatile, schizophrenic, yet still very likeable actor. And Emma Stone plays his ex-drug addict daughter, who has this very vulnerable, yet knowing quality about her. But it is Edward Norton who I'm going to come away thinking about, because he completely is so off the wall and so extreme and so entertaining. The kind of love that I'm talking about, you don't... You don't try to kill people. Yeah. It looks and sounds beautiful too, set in and around a theatre, and it's done like one long continuous take, which looks so much better than it sounds. And it's really interesting and funny insight into the fragile mind of actors. So five stars for Birdman. Next week, I'll be reviewing Taken 3, yes, and Into the Woods with interviews from Anna Kendrick and James Corden. So click here to subscribe and catch that then. Happy New Year.